Hey everybody, Sanjeev from iChatter. Today we are going to take a look at Infuse app for Apple TV. It has been a quite popular media playing app for iOS for quite some time. With the new Apple TV and the App Store has been updated and released for Apple TV also. People who have already purchased the iOS version uh, will be getting it free and um, if you don't have that iOS version you can actually go to the Apple Store, Apple App Store and uh, buy it now. So let's take a look at Infuse app. First time when you open the app you will only see two buttons, one is the settings and other one is add. You click on add and it will allow you to see all the shared media servers available on your network whether it's a SMB or DLNA and allows you to actually save those shares for later use. So you are current, you will see available shares first time and you click on any of the shares, save it and uh, come back you will see a uh, saved shares also where you can uh, go again and again. For DLNA it is pretty okay but when you are actually having a SMB server uh, you have to enter workgroup username and password so uh, for SMB servers this, these are pretty handy settings. The other thing which you can do with the saved shares are uh, you can go into them and add few of the favorites so if you want to go again and again uh, on some of the folders just go into the saved share long press that folder and add that to favorites uh, that way that uh, favorite will be shown on the very first screen of Infuse app. So you don't have to again and again come into the saved share to reach your uh, to reach your files. There are general settings available. Uh, you can actually control your shares. You can add your Tracket account. Uh, select whether you want to scroll on and off and want to show the file name, date, and how to how to do the metadata fetching, even uh, subtitles and other stuff. Uh, you can in the subtitles you can change uh, the default language uh, because that will be available right away. So uh, set your default language accordingly and uh, metadata also is the same thing you can select how, what which language and everything you need to use. So these are the basic settings which is available just set the languages uh, which you want to use by default as well as set your uh, tracket account and handle your shares from the settings. You can go to any of your uh, favorite folder and uh, you will see all the folders and a movie file or uh, video files inside like I have all the folders available here so I am just seeing all the folders uh, I click on any of the folders and it will start uh, showing me all the files which is available or all the video files which is available inside the folder if the, your naming conventions is correct uh, you have properly named the files it is automatically going to fetch the metadata for all of those files and um, start showing you all the metadata also the first time uh, metadata loading will take some time but from that point onwards every time you come into the folder it's going to be much faster because all the details has been stored locally. You click on any of the movie file and you will be taken to a detail screen where you can play, edit or read it on track it. Uh, if the metadata is not correct for that movie you can click on a edit button and uh, it will show you a search screen. You can see the file name, search for the correct uh, movie and just click on that and your metadata will be updated automatically. On the bottom side you will see the current folders movie files all the files are will be available here you can scroll them and uh, shuffle between those click on play to play the movie infuse app support most of the video format and you don't have to convert your video files for playing it on apple tv on the playing screen all the usual apple tv controls are available you can do fast forward and rewind through trackpad uh, swipe down to get more information and more controls you have info audio subtitles available to you under subtitles you can change certain options like font size color vertical alignment and other stuff uh, if you don't have a subtitles uh, available to your movie you can just click on get more and uh, select one of the subtitles from opensubtitles.org and uh, right on the screen it will fetch you that subtitle and uh, start displaying on this movie if you have multiple audio tracks available you can change those audio tracks under the audio screen uh, just select which track you want to use and under the info tab you have the options to select different chapters and jump directly into those chapters you will be seeing a check mark on the chapter which you are playing right now and if you want to jump uh, to any other chapter just select that chapter and you will be into that uh, chapter and the whole processing not only works for movies it also works for the tv shows the artwork for tv shows and uh, all the other details will also be fetched and will be shown uh, nicely on the apple tv so if you are actually doing all the media management on your NAS drive and uh, you have a lot of TV shows as well as movies available to you, this is one of the must have apps. 
and uh, it saves you from adding all the metadata to the video files um, because it fetches on the runtime it also uh, allows you to play almost all kind of a media formats uh, right from the nas drive and you don't have to convert them to apple specific formats or do any other work on that so that's all about infuse app on apple tv if you like the video uh, just hit the like button below or subscribe to iChatter for more information on apple tv apps thanks for watching Thank you.